What's up in there guys, it's Mac, hope you guys are well. Uh, this video is all about the Nintendo Switch Virtual Console. This is really my expectations about the Virtual Console and what I hope that they will have once it's released on the 3rd of March. Because as you know, Nintendo have been quite silent about this. Uh, so uh, either they will have Nintendo Direct closer to the time of the release or they will just basically release on the 3rd of March and expect you to sort of just go into it and jump straight into it and it will be a surprise. Um, I personally can't wait to get into it and basically see my order come and basically once I get my switch I just can't wait to get into the switch and start um, investigating this whole eShop and online features because I really want to see what's about and what it's all about and see what it has um, basically first of all I want to thank all of my subscribers that have, subscribed, that have subscribed to my channel thank you very much for that I really appreciate it um, it really helps the channel grow so thank you very much for that um, so I hope you enjoy this video and let's get straight into it so the Virtual Console, um, it's a feature that, that started off in the Wii. Uh, the Wii originally had online features where they could have the Virtual Console and you could buy games and stuff like that and old games, um, old games from older systems from like the NES and the SNES and stuff like that. Uh, but I personally um, never really um, had online features for my Wii. Um, I never bothered about it, never really knew much about it at the time, never really bothered with it. And never really plugged up my um, my Nintendo Wii to the um, to the online network uh, at all, really. So I really never took advantage of that feature. Uh, but and with portable handholds like the 3DS and Nintendo DS, um, I never really went onto online features either. I never bothered to buy uh, digital content. But for the Nintendo Switch, this is going to be the first platform that I really want to start. Um, experiencing online game and online online content and um, they want to start experiencing digital content when it comes to games um, I've never really been a person that buys digital content I've always liked the physical hardware itself physical games uh, but for me to invest in digital games um, this is something that I'm really looking forward to for the switch because I actually want to start uh, spending money on the virtual console and to start buying games on online um, because this could be the first home console they can actually take out on the go so you can literally play your classic games like the Mario All-Stars you know things like uh, Donkey Kong Country um, hoping for all these games to be available from a handheld perspective so obviously GameCube games as well things like that for once you'll be able to play them on, on the go and that's just going to be amazing to do so first of all like things like the SNES I'm hoping that they will have SNES on this virtual console um, I'm hoping they will have um, things like Super Mario All-Stars released for that Super Mario World one of my favorite Mario games of all time if they could release that that would be amazing they may even have Nintendo 64 uh, games so things like Mario, Mario Kart 64 um, they may have um, the NES so they may have games from that era as well and not only that they can also make it online as well if they wanted to I know the PlayStation equivalent for like PSN what they're going to release like the online features um, they may actually have uh, games on there that are apparently meant to be um, available for like a month only and then they return it or they take it back and um, they can have online features uh, but I want to be able to actually purchase games um, these are like classic games from the SNES era, from the NES era, from the N64 era, from the GameCube era there are games on the GameCube that I still don't even own Things like Luigi's Mansion, I never bothered buying it, I never played it, I heard it's a really good game but it's really expensive to buy that on that console and this is one platform that I'm actually holding off until the Switch comes out so I can actually experience it and see what they've got on there because um, I don't really want to buy it on the 3DS, now, they released Luigi's Mansion 2 on there but again I'm not a big fan of handheld um, consoles so I prefer to play them on the bigger screen so the Nintendo Switch will actually allow me to dock that console and I could play it on the big TV but also I could take it on the go so to play things like GameCube games um, things like Mario Sunshine things like Super Smash Brothers Melee and um, these games will be wicked to buy finally from the Nintendo eShop and have it based straight onto your switch so you can literally just download it straight and select it where you um, from there all of these uh, switch features things like the multiple controllers and stuff like that will all be embedded into the console itself uh, for the Nintendo Switch so it would be amazing to get these old franchises get, have like a new lease of life so so this is really exciting for me I'm, I'm expecting them to have a lot of these old old games basically available for you to buy I'm literally trying to give you my money Nintendo please take my money please give us some awesome games please they haven't given any information about the eShop and all of its features as of yet 
So I don't know what's going to be happening with that, but I'm hoping they're going to announce it sometime soon to the release time. Um, or if not, they just once it's released, let us know what exactly we can expect from there. Things like Pokemon Blue, it's a childhood game of mine. I absolutely love that game. All Pokemon games on eBay are really hard to get now. They're really expensive and not only that, but there are a lot of fakes around. So it's really hard to get the actual authentic um, cartridges. So for me to, um, I know that they released the 2DS special editions with the Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Leaf Green um, and both the Pokemon Red, but they did all of that, uh, but that's all on the, that's on the 2DS. I want it to be available on the eShop where you can actually download these games specifically onto the Nintendo Switch because you got to remember this is also a handheld console so they should be releasing more Game Boy titles as well on the digital store so you know allow us to have virtual Game Boy games on the virtual console on the switch you know give us Pokemon Blue give us Pokemon Yellow give us you know all those classic games maybe even GBA games all of that will be just amazing to have and I'm hoping that they're gonna do that but let's just see what Nintendo end up doing with it Nintendo Switch is basically one of those consoles that is basically more superior than the Wii U so it should have the capabilities of going back into all of the previous consoles of the generations. Nintendo Switch will be probably the most best way to revitalize and play these old franchises and to play them on the go and to take them to people's houses and start playing them and showing them the classic games as well. Um, it's really hard to log around the old consoles at times so to have this console to be the all-in-one console to have all the games across the Nintendo franchises and may even have things like Sega uh, titles as well and TurboGrafx titles. I know the Wii U had uh, TurboGrafx titles as well so it'd be amazing to have all of those type of games as well but let's just start first with the original Nintendo IPs have some of them on the actual console they can buy and I'll be happy to give you my money Nintendo if you guys can provide me amazing library of games on the Nintendo Virtual Console. So let's hope that Nintendo Switch has all of that and um, and I'll definitely be first in line to be buying those games and for the first time I'll be invested in virtual content and in digital games and I'll be actually investing money in digital games because I know that with the new online system um, for once Nintendo Switch are going to be a paid to service it could be like the PlayStation Plus or the Xbox Live where you're going to be paying monthly to get games as well as well as have online capabilities so I'm hoping that now that they've got into a paid system you can actually transfer all of your previously digital bought games and take them on to you and onto the next console and to the next venture that Nintendo go on to. This is why I know that all of my online purchases will be now safe in this one hub because I could, I could create an online Nintendo account and take it with me to every other future consoles that Nintendo release because this will be a pay to service so I'm hoping everything will be all within the one ecosystem and I could keep all of my digital digitally purchased games within this ecosystem and I could take it along with me into the new consoles so this is why I'm willing to sort of invest my money into digital content for once rather than buying the physical uh, games because now it's going to be a hybrid it's going to be the 3DS and the home console all rolled in one so I'm hoping all of the virtual uh, games and virtual consoles be now merged into one platform and I'm hoping this will be the best platform to buy virtual games on so um, yeah, I'm going to invest a bit more money into that one now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, do please leave them below the video. And I will try my best to answer every single one. Also, do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, it really helps me out a lot and it helps the channel grow. So thank you very much for that. So that was my video on the Nintendo Switch Virtual Console and what to expect from it. Hopefully we get more information soon. But until next time, take care guys. This is Mac. Peace out.